Hey guys, so I'm back with another vacuum cleaner video. Yes, surprise, surprise. I figured I'd go ahead and pull up my camera at 10 o'clock at night and talk about vacuums in my living room. Only reason being, I just got this guy today in the mail and he arrived safe and sound and I am over the moon because I've been sitting on the edge of my seat hoping it would arrive in good condition. This is my 1983 slash 1984 Hoover Sovereign, and I'm only saying that because two collectors have said two different things about the year. Mitchell said it was from 84. I have two other people telling me it's from 83, so just to, you know, agree to disagree, we're going to say 83 slash 84. So I just got this today. I have been searching for a Hoover Sovereign for two years. Well, Greg said he wanted to sell his, Mitchell told me, and I messaged him saying, hey, sell me that Hoover Sovereign. And he was like, yeah, sure, why not? And that's all she wrote. Now it's in my house and it's in its permanent home. So with that being said, I have been sitting here talking about these machines with other collectors and looking at these machines and, you know, just the history behind them. And I'm still sort of dumbfounded as to why they even exist in the United States. And yeah, you're probably thinking to yourself, God, you're dramatic. But seriously, why do these exist? What happened in 1983 and 1986 that caused this, okay? A lot of UK collectors get sort of upset when I talk about this topic because I call these by their, you know, UK names, the Turbo Master and Turbo Power. Um, because, you know, that's what they were basically, you know, based off of. They are those models, just different names. And people are like, no, 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 no. These are American machines, and they have 120 volt motors, and da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you look at the rating tags, they both say made in the United Kingdom. So they are made in the same factory with the same materials, same plastic, same body molding as the Turbo Master and the Turbo Power. So why are they here? I have no definite answer as to what Hoover, USA, and UK were doing in the 80s. You know, they both thought they were the shit. They're two completely different companies. If you read up on the Hoover company, Hoover UK and Hoover USA both had free reign of their markets. They weren't the same company. Um, Hoover USA got rid of the whole appliance thing in the 80s. They didn't offer washers and dryers anymore or toasters or anything like that. Um, Hoover UK was balls to the wall with everything, including vacuums. So they were both doing their own stuff. As someone would say, uh, they were on their own bullshit. So I, here's my speculation. Back in 1983, this was introduced in the UK, the Hoover Turbo Power, and it was a very modern and sleek looking vacuum compared to what was being offered at the time. However, the Hoover market in the USA, we had the Decade 80, we had the Concept Series, and we had the Convertible Series, which went fully plastic base. I believe by the end of the 70s, they were completely plastic base. And so we were, you know, basically peddling these very old fashioned looking bag in the back cleaners, right? Well, I'm guessing Hoover UK and USA were talking and Hoover UK was like, hey, you know, we're doing this. What do you think? And Hoover USA is like, that is exactly what we need. We need that to break the streak of boring vacuums in the USA. Get me a crate of those with 120 volt motors and da 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 da. And that's probably how it happened. I don't know for sure. Hoover people, don't cut me up, please. Just if you have information as to why this exists or how it even started in the USA, please go ahead and let me know because I still have no clue. And a lot of Hoover collectors have no clue. Um, we just know it's here and. Uh, they were very scarce. These machines broke a lot. And the Sovereign in particular is actually shorter than the Innovation, um, being marketed towards junior users in the UK. So it also didn't do well in the USA because of that fact. Um, not only the fact of the handle snapping in half and the plastic being brittle and you know parts becoming unavailable relatively quick, um, it was also the fact of the height. Uh, the innovation, its demise, was the construction. I actually believe, in my own opinion, the innovation is more delicate than the Sovereign. Now, if we look at the handle construction of the innovation, I can twist the handle and make the body flex around the bag door. Whereas with the Sovereign, it doesn't do that. The Hoover innovation, 
slouches from brand new dramatically. If you ever watched Uncle Buck where he has the hose off and he's using the upholstery nozzle and he's cleaning up those um, cornflakes off of his chest, this machine is not reclined against the couch in that scene. It is slouching against the couch. It is not reclined, I promise you. It is slouching. That is literally how dramatic these machines slouched from brand new. Whereas the Sovereign is perfectly straight up and down. Also, in my opinion, the Sovereign has a more robust ratcheting system, even though Mitchell would disagree. I feel that it clicks into place much better than the Innovation. Very solid. Now, if we take a look at the Innovation, which also, by the way, weighs as much as a Kirby, you listen to it click, it's more hollow, whereas the Sovereign's more of an authoritative thud compared to a, like, plastic remote click. So, no, don't get me wrong. I love the innovation. I wish there was more parts available because I would use this machine every day. Same with this one. But if I were to put these two into daily mode and to choose one for a daily, I'd be picking the Sovereign just because this thing feels like it's going to fall apart whenever you do use it with how delicate it is. The only negative thing about the um, Sovereign, if you did watch Mitchell's video, because this previously was his machine, someone thought it was a great idea <laughs> to remove the cord reel. So I have no cord reel in this machine at all. Whereas in my innovation, I still have a cord reel. Thank God. Um, I have been talking to a UK collector who is going to go ahead and actually help me source one because the voltage input to the cord reel doesn't matter. So you can run 120 volts to the same cord reel that a 220 volt machine would use and it's going to work exactly the same. So that'll be remedied within the next few months. I'm just happy to have it. I honestly could care less. Other than the cord reel, the machine is perfect. The switch is perfect. The bag door is perfect. The air freshener still is operational. It moves back and forth just as on the um, innovation. The brush roll is in good condition. I haven't actually done a full service yet. I just sort of polished up the plastic for this video. So it does need a good servicing. As you can see, the brush roll's dirty. But we do have the activator style brush, just like in the innovation. Um, the Vintage Appliance Emporium, also known as Steve, mentioned that these machines had problems with the plastic at the bottom of the bag door. And this does have the original red plastic with black bellows that may have been replaced because it does look relatively new. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it has been replaced. I don't know for sure, but I'm just taking a wild guess. So other than that, the cord reel um, and that possible uh, bellows replacement, the machine runs and sounds perfect. Now before I turn it on, I'll go ahead and I will do a quick comparison just to prove my point and my assumption that this is marketed towards junior users in the UK. If we look, the junior and the uh, sovereign are literally the same height. And here we have this like British Franken Jr. that I got from Greg as well. Yeah, literally the same exact height. So if I grab it right here, I'm literally grabbing it from the same place as I would on the Junior. Whereas in the Innovation, they gave it a few more inches of height. So I'm guessing the whole Junior height thing pretty much ended on their full-size uprights, and they just kept that going with the Junior until about 2001 when the last one was sold, under the Junior name. Anywho, so let's go ahead and give it a run. This is a single speed model. I know in the 1980s, I think in like 85 or 80, late 84 or early 85, I think the turbo power in the UK got the uh, two speed motor. Until then, um, people just had to deal with single speed. These were sold with no tools. From what I can find, literally this was to replace the Hoover convertible, the Hoover Decade 80, you were meant to just buy this to push across your carpet. So no tools, unfortunately, but it's a great carpet cleaner. Um, on my Frise carpet, I do have it on setting three because it does have a tendency to dig. Let's go ahead and give it a listen.
brush and the motor are perfect. Um, the brush does sound a little bit rough, but I notice all of my innovations sound like that. Besides this innovation, I do have a maroon soft bag and a gray soft bag. And I have a new old stock brush in the maroon one. And even that one, being new old stock, has a little bit of a thud to it towards the end of the wind down. Anyway, great condition motor, great condition body, just needs a cord reel, and she's good. I'm going to be giving her a service this week, and we'll take a look at the inside of it. Literally, if you've opened up an innovation, it's the same exact thing. Same motor setup um, with the headlight. Um, the only difference is they take away, obviously, the clutch on this machine here for, you know, the sovereign so we don't have to deal with that monkey business and um it's more straightforward i'll take a video of it when i do take it apart but anyway that is it my 83 slash 84 hoover sovereign very pleased with it thank you very much greg for selling it to me and thank you very much mitchell for finding it um when you did have it other than that you guys have a wonderful night and we'll talk to you soon